The Lexus GX460 behind me has a very special Torsen Type-C center differential. In fact, Torsen is so special to Toyota that Toyota actually owns Torsen through their JTEC subsidiary. Today we're going to talk about what makes this Torsen center differential so special and it's not the Torsen differential that you're thinking that has those triangularly arranged worm gears. This is a rarely used type C Torsen differential and it's got a very special trick. planetary gear system in your Torsen C differential, your center differential. The engine input is the planet carrier. So what you see in blue, the engine is connected to that. Okay, so that's the input. The front set of wheels is the sun gear. So that is your front set of wheels. And the rear set of wheels is the ring gear. So again, rear set of wheels is ring. Front set of wheels is sun, and everything gets its power, or the engine power goes to the planet carrier. Once the planet carrier is moving, this whole thing, this whole thing starts moving, and both your ring or rear wheels move, and your sun or front wheels move. That's that full-time four-wheel drive that you get. Now the limited slip action happens with these planet gears. If they sense too much speed, something special happens and it's able to, quote, lock both your rear and front. In other words, limit the slip between front and rear. Okay, we're going to get to the magic and the secret of this Torsen Type-C center differential in a second. But real quick, as you saw, the planet carrier is the engine input. So in other words, the power from the engine goes to the carrier. And then your rear wheels are the ring gear and the sun gear are your front wheels. Okay, so power comes in through the carrier and then is split through the planet gears, which are being turned or revolved by the planet carrier. And that revolution pushes, pretend this is a uh, uh, planet gear, it pushes the ring gear on the outside and the sun gear on the inside as it revolves around both the inner and outer gear. Now, the speed difference between front and rear axle is taken up through the rotation. In other words, the spinning on its axis part of this gear as it revolves. So as it revolves, it also does the spinning action. That's where it has the differential action. In other words, the difference in speeds between your front and rear axle, just like any differential, are taken up in this kind of spinning action and speed. It's just basically lost in friction. All right, so on to the magic. So I know this is not a laser-cut Toyota uh, Torsen <laughs> a helical gear, gear uh, from a planet but pretend it is. In other words, pretend this is a planet gear in the differential. Here's the secret. The gear, unlike normal planet gears, is not straight cut. So normal gears have straight cut gears, right? The In your actual uh, Torsen Type-C differential, this planet gear is going to be helical. So it's going to have those weird like angular um, teeth to it, right? So that's the secret, and I'll explain. The secret is with helical gears, when they start to spin fast enough, so pretend this is a helical gear, okay? If it starts to spin fast enough, it actually starts to thrust up and down, or if you have it this way, in and out. So a normal gear is just going around, normal planet gear just is going around like this, revolving and spinning, doing its thing. Now here's where the torsen or which stands, of course, for torque sensing, action comes in. How does it sense the torque? Okay, so it's going around, doing its thing, revolving and spinning at, at normal 
standard speeds, but once it speeds up, in other words, once your front and rear um, speeds are too far apart, okay, such as when you lose traction off the front or rear, the other axle is going to want to spin. So then this planet gear is going to want to take up that speed and spin too. What happens, because it's a helical gear, it spins so fast that it actually thrusts upward. It starts to lift upward, and then it reaches a uh, basically a friction disc, and it jams itself, and then it locks from rotating. So it, it's spinning, rotating, and it's it starts it sends a slip. So it starts the speeds get too quick on this, rotates quick, and it goes thrusts upward, and it jams itself against a friction plate, essentially almost like a, a clutch disc. Now it can't spin, so the planet is now trapped, and now the magic happens because pretend my t the top of my hand is the ring and the bottom is the sun, and this planet now can't spin anymore. It's it's pressed up against that friction disc, so now your rear and your front are now locked, so to speak, and the whole thing moves together. So that's how the uh, uh, GX460 Horson Type C Limited Slip Differential can have full time four wheel drive, differ the speeds front and rear, but then also quote lock up. Now I say quote lock up because it's not a true lock. You can manually lock, and that's another story. But with enough speed, this thing will rise or thrust up and then jam itself and freeze itself, clutch itself from, from spinning this way. Okay? So it won't do like that anymore. And then the, the sun and the ring or the ring and the sun will all move, quote, together. Now, in truth, it's not a true lock. There's going to be some slippage as this rotates. So, in other words, it's just not going to rotate as fast. And that has the effect of limiting the slip front to rear, front axle to rear axle. Then, when that speed uh, differentiation is uh, sensed to be balanced, the thrusting action that the gear falls back down and then goes about it, its uh, default business. That's it. If it senses overspeed again, such as you hit a patch of ice on both front axles or whatever, it will rise up, clutch itself to that friction disc, and then you'll be, you'll, the power will be sent to the rear axle. Okay, so if there's anything that I want you to take away from my babbling today, is that when we think of gears, such as that planet gear, we think of gears either rotating around and around like a wheel spinning, or we think of them revolving like this, or a combination of revolving and rotating at the same time. The secret of the Torsen C-type differential and what makes it so genius is that thrusting action. So instead of going on this axis, rotating and revolving it actually thrusts up and down and gets locked in through those friction plates to lock your front and rear together it's quite genius and i think it's a feature that makes uh, these toyota center differentials that are on the gx and the forerunner limited and the ls and the lx etc very special if you found this video helpful or you learned something or found it insightful, please uh, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great, great day.